G'day guys, it's Dom here from Yak Hunters Australia. And today we're out at Lake Kawongba, which is just north of Brisbane at a great freshwater dam. And today we're bringing you another kayak review, this time uh, bringing out uh, the Kayaks to Fish Next Gen 10 Mark II. So this is the second version uh, that Kayaks to Fish brought out of this particular Next Gen 10. And we're really excited to be able to get it out on the water. What we're going to do today is run you through some of the specs, uh, get a bit of the tail of the tape for all of its dimensions and portability, and then get it out for a nice uh, big on-water test to see if this kayak is something that you're going to be interested in uh, for you for your next fishing adventure. So the first thing we want to be able to run you through today is the portability, the weight, and the dimensions of the Next Gen 10 Mark II. So in terms of portability, this kayak does weigh in at 25 kilos. Uh, there's plenty of uh, hand points where you can uh, pick the kayak up with two on the side, one on the front, one on the back. So being able to get it up on top of your roof shouldn't be too much problem for you at all. In terms of the dimensions, uh, it comes in at 3.02 meters with 79 centimeters wide, which is nice and wide for a paddle kayak. So really interested to see how that width comes into play when we get out for the stability when we're out on the water. So one of the first things that I noticed when I uh, unwrapped the, the Next Gen Mark II um, was the build quality. I was actually really, really impressed. Uh, so the mold was nice and sharp. Uh, the finish on it is, is nice and smooth. And overall, it does look like a, a high quality kayak. So as we run through uh, the kayak from, uh, from nose to tail, um, I wanna run you through some of the, uh, uh, the build features uh, as well as some of the accessories and modifications that you might be able to make if you do manage to pick up one of these beauties. So at the front, uh, we've got uh, a nice comfortable uh, tow bar or tow rope here for you to be able to uh, move the kayak around. Um, you've got a, a storage hatch at the front uh, that has a net uh, that you can uh, take up and put uh, any of your uh, uh, tackle, uh, any of your, your clothing or what have you, when you uh, whatever you need whilst you're out on water. The next little cool feature, which I think is a new addition to the Mark II, um, at the very front, you've got uh, two sets of grooves at the front. Now, I've been told this is where, uh, when you're out on the water and you wanna uh, rest your rod down, um, you can put uh, the tip or towards the tip of the rod up here and it should stop it from falling off. As we move a little bit further back, um, there is a transducer hole that they've put in here uh, to enable you to be able to set up uh, your sounders and so forth uh, without having to do too much uh, in hull work yourself. Um, we then come back uh, to the main storage hatch, so which is attached with two clips, pops open, and it gives you a, a nice area to put uh, a bunch of your fishing utensils and whatever you might need out on the water. Now, another feature that I've liked uh, about uh, the Next Gen Mark II uh, is uh, the, the pedals you've got here. So these are really, really adjustable. So with a little flick up of a lever here, it enables you to push or pull, depending on uh, how tall you are to be able to get the right uh, foot positioning for you. The two uh, little levers at the top, you push those and it uh, directs your rudder system. One of the other features that I like uh, in this particular kayak uh, is inside the deck here, uh, there is actually some, um, some deck matting. So that enables you to have more grip when you stand up, uh, as well as enabling you, uh, if you do drop something, not a lot of sound is going to reverberate through the hull and uh, disturb any fish that are out there. Now, a fairly common feature on a lot of kayaks these days is the rail system. So. Uh, the rail system that we've got on the Next Gen Mark II, um, you have two little rails up the front that's going to allow you to be able to put things like camera booms and so forth for you to be able to record yourself while you're out. Two nice long ones along the side. Uh, these ones here, you're gonna be able to put your, uh, your fish finder, uh, you put your uh, rod holders and so forth. Uh, so lots of space to be able to put various accessories up there. As we come further back, uh, we've got a raised seat. 
Now, if you've seen any of our other uh, kayak reviews, one thing that we really do bang on about here at Yak Hunters is being comfortable out on the water. Um, you really want to be able to have long sessions uh, whilst you're out there, and one thing that is crucial to that is having a raised, comfortable, padded seat. So, um, a big tick for the uh, the kayaks to fish, fish next gen two in that it has a raised seat. Um, and one thing that they've added on the next generation is having a seating position which is lower, as well as another seating position on another level up to give you a higher viewing point to be able to uh, you know spot things whilst in the water in terms of sight fishing. As we progress through towards uh, the rear end of the kayak, um, you'll find four rod holders. Uh, so two uh, that come with little covers and then two that stand directly up behind your seat. And then in the rear well at the back here, another addition to uh, the Gen 2 version is for the first time, they've got an in-hull uh, hatch in here for you. Now, as we progress right to the back of the kayak, and I'm gonna to have to come around this side really quickly, um, you've got the rudder system, which is very, very easily operated uh, by grabbing the cable here, pulling it through, and then attaching it in a little side uh, uh, grabber here, and, and that will uh, bring it all the way down to the bottom, and then clip in. So one cool feature that I did notice uh, while setting this one up and something that I've had difficulty with on other kayaks with similar rudders is being able to pull uh, the rudder back up as you're coming into shore. Really cool feature with this one. You unplug it, let it go, and it automatically springs back up. At the back here, you've also got two more rail points uh, for things like railblazer accessories. Uh, so you can put lights uh, or a different camera boom out the back. Uh, the kayak itself, it also comes with a standard paddle. Uh, it will also come with a rod leash as well as uh, one rod holder as well. So one of the cool features uh, that I think is fairly unique uh, to this particular kayak is they've thought about putting a, a recessed motor mount in the back here. So on both sides, uh, there is a uh, a custom built position to be able to put a trolling motor or a motor to be able to get you around. Uh, so if you're not someone that wants to uh, paddle around all day and to install uh, a motor, um, Kayaks to Fish has uh, thought of that for you and uh, they've put a nice little mount in here for you to, uh, to install it nice and easily. So that's kind of the tail of the tape of running this kayak from, uh, from front to back and uh, for a kayak of its nature, uh, it, it really does have uh, everything you need from, uh, from the A to Z to be able to get you out in the water nice and comfortably. So that's the, uh, the run through. Uh, you know, some really cool features uh, in the Mark II version of this, uh, of this kayak. Really interested now to get it out on the water to see how it handles. <laughs>
uh, in a three meter paddle kayak. Um, you know, it's pretty impressive. So you feel nice and stable in the water. Um, there's no real threat of, of falling in. Um, in terms of its maneuverability, um, with the two front pedals that you've got uh, controlling the rudder behind you, um, you can sort of get in a bit of a drift pattern um, and control where you're going. So I've just depressed the, uh, the left uh, pedal and you can see I'm, uh, I'm very slowly turning. I've got a light breeze uh, behind me and if you do need to sort of move as you're, uh, as you're drifting and jigging or um, you know, just uh, hopping something off the, off the bottom uh, on a drift, you know, having the pedal control uh, is really uh, convenient. So there's not a lot of effort has to be put into uh, propelling uh, the yak forward. Um, you know, in the seated position I'm in at the moment, um, I'm nice and comfortable. The seat is, uh, uh, you know, as we said on the uh, on the shore, you know, it's nice and padded. So I could see myself out in this kayak for many hours uh, without, uh, you know, getting a sore back or a, or a, uh, a sore backside. One thing I will say, however, um, with regards to the seating position and uh, in relation to my feet, look, I'm I'm six foot tall, and. Uh, Look, in the lower sitting position at the moment, I'm actually really comfortable. But uh, if I was, uh, you know, any taller, say 6'2", 6'3", or above, um, this kayak is probably going to start uh, being a little small and uh, not having enough leg room. Now, if we move the seat from its bottom position into uh, the top position, um, it actually reduces the amount of leg room by about two and a half inches. So once again, at six foot, I've, I'm fairly comfortable in that position. But once again, if you are a bit taller, um, you know, you may be wanting to think about possibly getting the next size up in kayaks. Um, so if we're talking about uh, stability, uh, maneuverability, uh, comfort, you know, the next gen 10 Mark II uh, for a paddle kayak uh, is pretty impressive and there's not a lot uh, that I could fault with it. Um, you know, I'd be comfortable out here for hours uh, you know, it's pretty easy to maneuver about. So all in all, you know, a really solid kayak. Hey, yo. So in summary, all in all, very impressed with what the Kayaks to Fish Next Gen 10 Mark II has to offer. I think the little upgrades that they've made in the second edition of this kayak have really started to push this uh, more towards an upper market where you're going to find an experienced fisherman uh, being pretty comfortable out on the water. So the build quality was really sound. Uh, there's a lot of thought I think that's gone into where they've put a lot of the rail positioning, um, you know, putting the deck matting down uh, and having an adjustable seat. Um, there are a few things that I don't think you'll find in some of the kayaks that it's competing with uh, in its class. Stability out on the water, you know, I'm used to being a, uh, sort of traveling around in a fairly large uh, pedal kayak. So for me getting into something that was, uh, was paddle, you know, I was going to be a little bit skeptical in terms of uh, how stable it was going to be, but I was pretty impressed. And as you saw in some of the footage there, I was able to jump up, you know, jump around and move from side to side pretty comfortably. And um, you know, in terms of its trackability, uh, its handling and its speed or cutting through the water, you know, uh, nothing I could really fault it on uh, there at all. The only thing, uh, as I said out on the on-water uh, on test, that you may need to consider when looking at this particular model is how tall you are. Uh, so uh, I'm six foot, so for me, you know, it's a perfect size, but if you're a, a larger guy, uh, you know, coming in, you know, six two, six three, or, uh, or taller, um, potentially you might wanna look at some of the larger models that they had in, uh, in stock. For price, uh, for weight, for transportability, you know, there's nothing much that we can fault uh, this particular kayak with. So overall, you know, very impressed for what this delivers in terms of a package uh, for a nice uh, pedal kayak that is gonna get you out on the water and fishing for many hours in comfort. Thanks for watching guys. We'll be back again with some other reviews of, of other kayaks and other fishing relating products. Look forward to seeing you out in the water and uh, on online soon. Thanks guys.